Good morning, Modern Setters. It's March 16th. Somebody needs to tell old man winter that spring's gonna be here in four days and to leave. Look at this. Twenty one degrees out. Just looking at the weather forecast, it's supposed to get even colder. Tomorrow, high of 15, low of 5 below. Man! And we're not the only part of the country that's getting hammered with the snow. I think, I know Massachusetts and southern... Connecticut, Pennsylvania area, they got hammered with, I think, more snow than we got in northern New Hampshire. So I can't complain too bad. But I will say, it'll be nice once it starts to warm up and we can start planting our gardens and prepping them and, and getting the new chicks outside. I'm looking forward to all that fun stuff. Good morning, girls. What do you girls think about all the snow, huh? Yeah, we're almost gonna be able to let you out on pasture, and then now look at it. I've been thinking a lot more lately about preps and being prepared. I don't know if it's because the long winter we've had or looking forward to spring and some new projects. I'm excited. I can't wait till we get the rain gutters put up in the outdoor kitchen. We're going to have two 275 gallon IBC totes on the backside to collect the water. So the outdoor kitchen will have running water with no electricity. And that's going to be awesome. There's a few more things I've been thinking about that will be projects that will be up and coming. We just need the snow to melt first, but they're going to be fun. What are you doing, Plodo? Come on. Time to put back the maple sap buckets. In yesterday's video and the video before that, we were boiling our maple syrup that we collected and we had a fun snow day. I'll put a link to those videos right here. We're gonna put the buckets back, but I don't think the sap's gonna be running anytime soon. I guess you never know, but I think we're gonna have at least a week break from the sap running. I still can't get over how long the snowbank is. It's got to be 30 feet long. That's a lot of snow. A lot of snow to melt. We're not going in yet. Pluto's getting more and more daring with getting close to the pigs. Huh. Yeah. Yo. Alright, let's grab our buckets and... I guess the sap ran a little bit the other day and then froze. This last, well this bucket was getting easier to get to. Now, <sighs> yep, we can use that as a step. That snow bank's growing. This one ran the other day too. I'm surprised. It's been so cold. I 
After we get the buckets put away, we're gonna have to get the truck out and do some plowing. To get the driveways cleared. Yesterday I plowed the road open on my way back in, but I didn't get too fussy with the driveways. These snowbanks were almost melted all the way down. And now they're back up about halfway up my thigh. It sure is crazy how much snow we've gotten just in the last couple of weeks. Ah, I was looking forward to spring and now winter's back. Temps warm up a little bit and I have more time. I'll have to get the tractor run and get it out and take all this snow and move it over here. I don't want to put too much more in this corner because I don't want to bury the outdoor kitchen any more than we have to. I think it's going to be a little while before we can get to our gardens. We got raised garden beds under there and you can't even see them. Crazy. Well, since it's gonna be cold out, I better bring some firewood in the house. We've been taking it easy with the wood stove lately, but it's gonna be cranking up this weekend. Boy, that wind is picking up. That'll keep us warm for the week. It should. Five below on Saturday night. Not cool. 
I ordered a new hat the other day. It's been too cold though to wear it. I got my winter hat. It was getting pretty warm. So I ordered a new hat. I love it. But it's too darn cold out right now. Oh, man, I can't wait for spring to come. Stock rowing. You want one? To stock rowing our fresh vegetables here, some tomatoes, and we got our class coming up in April. Man, I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm hungry. A lot of work this morning. So thanks guys for coming along on our crazy journey. I hope you had fun with us. We appreciate you coming along. Um, how's winter bed in your neck of the woods this year? You guys been getting a lot of snow, a lot of cold, has it been warm? I was talking to somebody in Arizona yesterday and it was 80 degrees there. Wow, that must be nice this time of year. Pluto, you like these? Okay. Thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us. If you're new to the channel, now's a perfect time to subscribe. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. We're eating coconut bites. Which are like one of my favorite snacks. And look, Pluto loves them too now. You're crazy. You're a good dog.